from where they began their inspection. This is the first opportunity we have to showcase to the world the achievements of the present administration in Cape State. First was the Aragungu Bypass Road, which was constructed by the Aragungu Local Government Council. In the course of the administration in 2010-11, we gave local government 25 kilometers each for each local government. And Argungu has executed their 25 kilometers. Progress differs from state to state, sometimes based on resources and allocation of resources to those states. Sometimes, indeed, simply a fact of leadership. We have had states that are very low on revenue table, but very high on performance. So we are definitely going to assess this progress. These are the critical factors in leadership. Here you have states low on revenue table, but high on development. You can say that there is a concrete leadership on ground that is transforming and mobilizing people for development. So we are going to look at all the progress in KB State. Still in Argungu, members of the National Good Governance Tour team inspected a Federal Ministry of Agriculture project tagged One Stop Shop for Agricultural Purposes. The Zonal Director of Federal Ministry of Agriculture in charge of the zone, Kevin Tapers, said the One Stop Shop would also provide tractor hiring services to farmers in the area, stressing that the scheme is designed to be concessioned when fully operational. Our partnership with KV State is solid. Members of the National Good Governance Store team were also taken to inspect one out of the 200 modern secondary schools being built by the state government as a way of making education attractive. We have added uh, hostels, uh, living quarters for the teachers, so that everybody will be in the school. There will be discipline, there will be reading culture. The Adamu Aogi College of Education's permanent site was visited. There, the governor explained that work on the project was stalled due to some disagreement between the landowners and the state government, but was however quick to note that the issues at stake have been resolved. Labara Maku, while applauding Kemi State Government for what he described as giant strides, said the idea of the tour is not enshrined in any political interest, but basically to showcase governors like Seydit Aikingari, whose achievements are talked in a remote area with no one to show their achievements. There are governors that are doing a lot of work and nothing is mentioned about them in the media. Sometimes because they're in remote places outside Lagos, Kaduna and Abuja. But those are the centers of the media in Nigeria. So if you're outside Lagos, if you're outside uh, Abuja, if you're outside Kaduna, it's very difficult for you to have a mention. But this is not how it should be. We believe that development is not possible in a democracy unless the people are getting reports about what their governments are doing. You know, we politicians, when we condemn each other, you think nothing is happening in this country. We specialize in condemning each other for political reasons, for partisan political reasons. These condemnations are discouraging citizens. They sometimes believe that no work is going on. A total of 99 projects executed by the federal government, the state and local governments have been lined up for inspection in Kevin State.